Hi, I'm super excited to make this video because Android 8 Oreo is now finally official for the Sony Xperia XZ Premium and I've got the official system update notification right here and in case you don't have this notification here go to settings go to about phone tap on software update and just refresh it once and see if it's there or not but if it's not there don't worry guys the official update is coming for your Sony Xperia XZ Premium Alright, so the Android Oreo update brings with it a couple of new features like the 3D creator, scan your face, your head, your dinner or an object and turn it into a 3D avatar for fun sharing. You've got predictive capture, I think this is the enhanced version of the smile shutter. We've got autofocus burst, I'm curious to check that out. You can capture blur free images. Improved sound quality, immersive front facing stereo speaker improvements. So maybe they've improved the sound quality or the loudness of the front facing stereo speakers. Gotta check that out. And Qualcomm aptX HD audio support for wireless listening and high quality. I think that will require some compatible headsets. But we've also got app shortcuts, redesigned shortcuts by long press with easy access to actions. So long press the uh, shortcuts and it'll give you some quick options so let's go back here and the update size is about 1.3 gigabytes so I'd recommend that you download on an unlimited data plan or on Wi-Fi and again make sure that your battery is fully charged before you do this update so I'm gonna tap download and we'll begin the downloading process so in this video I will show you the update process and we'll take a first look at the Android Oreo update for the Sony Xperia XZ Premium Alright, the update is now ready to install. Tap on continue. Install now. You should probably unplug the phone from the charger. So we are at 97% charge. Should be good enough. And now you can follow me on Facebook and on Instagram. Links are down in the video description. Alright, so we have booted into Android Oreo and it is finishing Android update. So let me just unlock the phone. Alrighty, so I've given a few minutes for the phone to settle down and after like 5 or 6 minutes the phone will start running normally. Initially after you finish the update your phone will get warm and it will run a little bit sluggish but it doesn't matter it will take around 5 to 6 minutes for the phone to settle down and now everything is butter smooth. Everything is working fine. So this is the official Android 8 Oreo update. We're taking a first look and in-depth video is coming soon where I'll test the battery life and other features. So the first thing you'll notice is that these uh, icons are a little bit different. These are the stock Android Oreo uh, navigation bar icons. So let's quickly go to settings. Now you can see that the settings has shifted to the bottom of the notification bar. Earlier it used to be on the top. So go to settings, you get a completely redesigned settings menu. So let's go to system and tap on uh, about phone. And here we have the Android version, Android 8. So quickly tap on that and you can see Android Oreo. You have this little game. Let's go back. And the security patch level is 1st October 2017. So this is the uh, latest update for the XZ Premium. So let's go to display settings and see if double tap to wake is available or not. So display. And no, there is no double tap to wake and neither there is an option to change the resolution of the screen. So I'm guessing this thing is still running at 1080p. So yeah, unfortunately, no double tap to wake. and quickly see if double tap to sleep is there in the home launcher uh, no there is no double tap to sleep in the home launcher and there is still no double tap to wake in the display settings and that is kind of disappointing to see because some people might want to use double tap to wake and older Sony phones used to have features like double tap to wake and double tap to sleep for example this is the uh, Z3 compact and you can see this one has double tap to wake and double tap to sleep as well so you can double tap and the phone will go to sleep and that option is not available on the XZ Premium that's 
slightly disappointing and there is still no option to change the screen resolution manually. Okay, so moving on to the more positive aspects of the Android Oreo update, I talked about App Shortcuts. Now, App Shortcuts was there in Android Nougat, but unfortunately it was disabled on Sony Xperia devices because the Xperia launcher did not support it. But in Android Oreo, Sony has finally enabled App Shortcuts and now you can use them. So what App Shortcuts does is if you long press an icon, you get these uh, shortcuts over here and you can just tap on it and it will straight, uh, straight go to compose. Now this is for Gmail, uh, you get this for uh, Chrome as well. You can directly launch new tab and yes you can place these shortcuts on your home screen. So for example I want to open an incognito tab and I don't want to go, go ahead and open Chrome then open this menu and tap on incognito. You can just directly tap on the shortcut over there and it will take you to new incognito tab. And same thing for a new tab. You can see two tabs are now open. So pretty neat huh? And this one also works for contacts. You can just directly add a new contact. Uh, just makes your work a little bit easier. And another annoying feature of this Android Oreo is this wasted space right over here. It kind of makes it a little bit difficult to reach the album because earlier in the previous updates you won't have this uh, wasted space. So all of this space will be occupied by icons. Uh, for example, if I have three icons over here, it's kind of a waste of space over here. So not sure why Sony is doing this, but yeah. Sony has added some new features to their camera app on the XZ Premium with Android 8 Oreo. Now you get burst mode. So to activate burst mode, you just press and hold the shutter button and the camera will start capturing the pictures uh, in rapid succession. As you can see, the number is changing and there you go 100 burst shots have been captured and saved to the internal memory now you might want to pick some pictures out of the uh, burst sequence so just go to your album and select the burst sequence and from here you can save the uh, images you like and just discard the images you don't like so for example I want to save this and I want to save this can see there are a lot of images uh, which I've captured in the burst sequence. And I want to save this. So you get two options save three photos, save three photos, and delete others. So save three photos. And our burst sequence is still there. I can select uh, more pictures later on. But this is the picture that I've saved, and you can see the picture is crystal clear nothing is out of focus and same with this one you can even see it's written over there ask me anything over there on windows taskbar and same with this one and now the camera app also has image distortion correction so to access image distortion correction just tap this gear icon tap on more and you have it over here correction for image distortion so for demonstration purposes in this picture the anti-distortion feature is turned off and as you can see right over here you'll see that the image is warped or in other words distorted uh, same with the top part of the laptop it appears as if the image is uh, distorted and in this picture the anti-distortion feature is turned on so this feature this image is correct there are no distortions over here and over here also and see if I can open these uh, side by side so yeah you can clearly see this image is slightly distorted and this one is perfect so anti-distortion works quite well and here is another one this one has anti-distortion turned off and you can see this monitor appears as if it is curved but in reality it's not so the distortion is over here on the top part of the screen and over here and over here it appears as if the uh, screen is bulging inside and in this picture the anti-distortion correction is turned on so as you can see this is a straight line and on the top also straight lines so this image is not distorted 
It is really nice to see that Sony is listening to the community and they have implemented this anti-distortion feature in their uh, latest Android Oreo update. And there have been changes here and there. If I go to camera and go to video, now you have a 4K video recording option right there in the uh, video resolution. So you can just directly select 4K uh, from this context menu and it has been removed from the camera app. One of the most anticipated feature of the Android Oreo update is the picture in picture mode. Now picture in picture mode also works in YouTube but unfortunately it requires you to have YouTube Red subscription so I can't really show you that on YouTube but I will show it to you on VLC player. So download and install VLC player, uh, go to preferences and make sure that the uh, option which says play videos in background is checked and then go ahead just play a video. Um, you just go to movies and let's play Xperia 4K HDR video. Yes, HDR works. And then tap on this icon and then select this button. And there you go. Now you can see the video is playing and then you can go ahead and continue on doing your work and also keep on watching your movies. I think this is pretty cool. Yeah, and one of the most anticipated features of Android Oreo pretty cool huh you can see the video is still playing oops stopped and let's go ahead and play another movie minimize this you can see the video is playing no problems also I noticed that the front facing stereo speakers are much louder than they were before and let me just play a song Now if you're in a room, this much volume is more than enough. Uh, earlier I used to crank the volume way up till over here. Yeah, it gets pretty loud. Yeah, this is the appropriate listening volume if you're in a room uh, which is quiet. So yeah, definitely there has been improvement in the front facing stereo speakers. Now there is also improvement in the call quality. Now I do feel that the call quality, uh, sound quality has improved from the top earpiece. It's much more louder, it's much more crisp. But yeah, you gotta test that out yourself to uh, experience that. We also get some new redesigned emojis. You can see these are different than the ones that were there before. Sony has also included 3D Creator with this update. Now this one debuted with the Sony Xperia XZ1. Now I don't think I'll be ever using this app because I think this is for very specific kind of people. Uh, maybe for artists who want to take 3D, uh, 3D scans of their face, some objects or food and then have them printed out on a 3D printer. So for example, you could take a head scan which will appear like this. Uh, so yeah, you can order a 3D print of your model, you can print it on your own 3D printer. So it'll appear something like this. Pretty useful for art artists or something, but yeah, I don't think I'll, I'll be ever using this. So there is the uh, second option, you can just scan the front part of your face. You can scan food. And as usual, Sony customizes their Android operating system, so the uh, signature Sony features are still there. So if you go to battery, we still have stamina mode, we have ultra stamina mode, and we also get battery here. If we tap on advanced, you can see the screen has been on 28 minutes, and since then 3% battery has dropped. So I last charged it fully 2 hours 30 minutes ago. 28 minutes almost 30 minutes of screen on time 3% battery drop and if you go to sound and if you go to accessory settings we do have automatic optimization audio settings we still have DSEEHX clear audio plus we have S4 front surround sound these are all custom Sony features we do get a clear bass we do get surround sound options and lastly you do get Google Assistant 
But again, I like to keep the Google Assistant off because it just intrudes your privacy. Alright, so that concludes this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below. And thank you guys for watching this video. Thanks for tuning in and stay tuned for more videos like these. And I'll see you guys next time.